Hi there, this video is going to go over um, how to add a weapon to the UFPS character. So first thing I'm doing is I open the uh, UFPS demo scene. I find the uh, demo game object, it's actually called demo, and I disabled it. And then what you want to do is you want to find your hero, and I moved mine down on the Y to 104.1 .1. Uh, basically that puts them uh, closer to the ground uh, next thing I do under the FPS uh, camera I create an empty child and I'm gonna name this uh, because I have four weapons I'm gonna name this 5M16 And then after that, I'm going to add a number of scripts. So the first script I'm going to add is uh, the VPFP weapon script. Uh, next, I'm going to add the uh, VPFP weapon shooter script. And finally, oh, two more scripts. I'm going to add the uh, VP FP weapon reloader script and then finally the uh, item identifier the VP item identifier script so um, I'm going to use the assault rifle so the first thing I'm going to do here is add in the item type of assault rifle and then I'm going to go over here to my player the top level I'm going to find this VP player inventory script and under item records I'm going to add in the same weapon. Uh, this way whenever I hit play I will have this weapon in my inventory. Uh, so on the new weapon, the M16, um, we are going to open up this uh, VPFP weapon shooter script. Uh, so under the rendering here, uh, this first person uh, weapon prefab. We're going to use the assault rifle, which is right here. And you'll notice that it populates. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hit play. I'm going to hit the Q button. So you see our new um, assault rifle uh, showed up, and you'll see it's not in the correct position. Um, so we're going to open up our position springs. And if this, this first one, the offset, you see if I moved it left or right with the X and then the Y goes up and down and the Z moves closer or further away. So I'm going to change this to 0.14, negative 0.3, and negative 0.04. Uh, next thing I want to do on this rotation springs uh, this offset right here notice how the weapon goes up or down and the Y kind of rotates it to left or right and the Z kind of changes the angle of how you're holding the weapon so I'm going to make this negative 2 I'm going to make this one negative 3 and then 0 and you see it's kind of uh, lined up. Uh, so from here we want to save our settings so what you want to do is you want to select this cog icon click copy component stop the game and then you will select the cog icon again and you will paste the component values and you'll see that our offsets are there and our rotation offsets are saved. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sounds for wielding and unwielding um, and we have a few that came with UFPS so we've got machine gun wield and then for the unwield I'm going to grab this unwield one.
Um, from here, we're going to move on down to the uh, VP FP weapon shooter script. Uh, but before th I do that, let me hit play, and you'll see that the uh, weapon is actually in position, and it made a sound when I wielded the weapon. Um, so now on the uh, VP FP weapon shooter script. If I expand this uh, projectile setting, uh, so since we're using an assault rifle, I'm going to change this um, the firing rate to 0.1 so that it fires quicker, and then I'm going to match that with the tap firing. This would be if um, a player is pressing the fire button as fast as they possibly can, it can only fire this this quickly. For the uh, prefab. I'm going to select the machine gun bullet. You'll see when I select it, it actually populates here in the prefab. Uh, next thing I'm going to do over here on the spread. So right now it's on zero. If I leave it on zero, it's going to be exactly on target every single time. The next, you can go all the way up to 360, would be, which would be a full circle. Uh, every time you shoot, it would go in a random direction all the way around the entire player. So since this is a machine gun, I'm going to make it four. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I'm going to uh, cycle to my weapon. So you'll see here when I fire, it's kind of in uh, different locations. And also you notice the weapon goes uh, up and down really bad. Um, so I'm going to um, adjust the motion. Um, I hit the escape key. Um, and so I'm going to look at the uh, motion. I'm going to look at this rotation recoil. Um, so, on the X, I'm going to change this to negative 0.25, and if I hit play, you see how it's um, a lot tighter. If I hit fire button, I'm going to leave the Y where it is, and for the Z, I'm going to make it uh, 1. So you see it kind of comes back a little bit. And now, um, since I made those tweaks. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing here. Um, we're going to select our cog icon, copy component values, stop the game, and paste the component values. And you'll notice the settings are there. Alright, next up is the muzzle flash. Um, so we're going to select this prefab, and we are going to grab the machine gun muzzle flash. So if I just type muzzle, um, I'm going to grab this first one, machine gun muzzle flash. Uh, now I'm going to hit play. So if I open up the muzzle flash, I'm going to hit the show muzzle flash. I'm going to hit the fire button one time. So now it's at the end of my gun. And um, so we're going to change the scale. So you can notice if I do the scale, X and Y, all these settings uh, change how it looks. Uh, so I'm going to change this to 0.5 all around. And uh, you'll see that it's right there. All right, so I'm going to turn off the puzzle flash, uh, collapse this, go ahead and copy my component, pause the game, paste my component values. Um, now I'm going to change, uh, I'm going to shift over to the shell. 
Uh, so we are going to use the machine gun shell. So there's two of them. Um, I'm going to use the second one. You'll see right here it's uh, longer. So um, there's a problem with the scale. So we're going to hit play and I'll show you what I mean. So if I hit fire, we get a really big uh, shell. So we're going to fix that. So I'm going to stop the game. I'm coming over here to the scale and I'm going to make this 0.05. Uh, so the scale is a lot more realistic. Um, and now on the shell, I'm going to change the uh, velocity right here, the eject velocity. I'm going to make it um, kind of come out a little quicker. So I'm just going to change it to 0.5. So it gets launched way out there. And also, you notice how it's nice and flat. I want to um, have it spin a little bit. So I'm going to move it to 0.5 to spin. And they're all kind of come out slightly different. Uh, so we are going to collapse that. Uh, select the cog icon, copy the component, pause the game, and paste the component values. Uh, next up, I'm going to, um, and you'll notice that the tweaks are loaded at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and my scale is still there. Uh, under the sound, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the fire and the dry fire. So there is a uh, machine gun fire sound. I'm going to use that. And on the dry fire, I'm going to use this pistol dry fire. And we are done with the uh, VP FP weapon shooter. Uh, next, I'm going to go to the reloaders. And so the sound reload. There's actually a sound. Um, there's this uh, machine gun reload sound. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to fill in the um, animation as well. There's a, there's a number of reload animations, but I'm going to use the one. You'll notice when you click the first one that it's a tie to this assault rifle 01, which is the weapon that we're using. Uh, so we have that populated. Um, next up, I'm going to uh, kind of show you a little bit of the projectile. So if I go over here and I select the projectile, it's going to go to the machine gun bullet prefab. And down here under the um, shader, it's going to have the actual pistol decal and the decal normal. Um, I changed this from the legacy shader. I just selected the standard shader for you at, um, Unity 5. Um, so I'm going to go back to the... So this is where you would change your um, bullet hole. So I'm going to go back to the uh, prefab. And you'll notice over here on this uh, hit scan bullet, you've got your range. Uh, this is how far, basically how far the bullet goes, and when it hits something, this is how much force it applies to it. I've got a damage of one set up, so you can change this. Uh, the damage method name is, is called damage, which is what uh, UFPS uses. And then you have some different uh, impact prefabs, dust and spark and debris. So there you go. That's uh, how to set up a weapon in UFPS. Thank you.